Hi, I'm Hiro Ino with Spanishin. And today I want to talk about Hyperflash. And this is the uh, second video of a series of videos talking about Hyperbus and Hyperflash. So uh, let me talk about where Hyperflash resides in the whole NOR flash memory domain. Today in this read, there's two categories of NOR flash memory. One is parallel NOR, and the other is serial NOR, often called spy NOR for its interface. Parallel NOR, uh, in terms of performance, uh, for a typical page mode access NOR device, it's in the range of 70 to 80 megabytes per second. For the spy NOR, a typical quad mode um, solution in the market today is in the order of 40 to 66 megabytes per second. Well, Spanson leads in both categories. For the parallel NOR, with the 15 nanosecond initial access, we have throughput of 96 megabyte per second. For, and for SpyNOR, with the data learning pattern, we contain up to 80 megabyte per second with a DDR quad mode device. What we try to achieve with Hyperflash is even yet faster device with low pin count. Hyperflash is running up to 333 megabyte per second with a 12-pin bus, the Hyperbus interface. So as you can see here, it is the fastest NOR device in the market today. So let's, let me talk to you about the product itself. In terms of performance, it's five times the performance, the read performance of the Quad SPI. It goes up to 333 megabyte per second for a 1.8 volt I.O. device and up to 200 megabyte per second for a 3 volt device. The initial access time is 96 nanoseconds. In terms of density, we have 512 megabit, 256 megabit, and 128 megabit. Hyperflash was originally targeted for the automotive space, and because of that, we are supporting automotive grade temperatures. So, uh, minus 40 to 125 degrees, this is an extended temperature range uh, for high reliability solutions for automotive. In terms of package, it's uh, 8 by 6 millimeter BGA. I have it right here. It's a very, very tiny package. And it consists of 24 balls. And this is a very common uh, package for uh, a spy NOR, or dual spy NOR, or hyperflash. So let me talk about how easy it is to migrate from any. Uh, solution in the market today to Hyperflash. We see here are three devices. The first one is the single quad spy. And you see the footprint right here. You have the six pins uh, designated here in yellow, which are used for data transaction. Again, uh, this is a very common BGA package for single quad SPI. In uh, December of 2013, we introduced dual quad spy, which is essentially two spy nor into one package. So you have the sec second set of uh, bus pins here, uh, designated in yellow, which is for a second uh, die. So you have the single quad spy, dual quad spy, and now hyperflash. As you can see, hyperflash is using the same pins and uh, with one addition, the read data stroke. So what, you, what can be attained here is that for a system designer, you can create one platform, one PC board, that can use either a single quad spy, a dual quad spy, or a hyperflash memory device. So you have a very simple migration path to attain performance, uh, good, better, and best performance in a single um, platform solution. 